things by protocol, why isn't everybody else? I'd like to have some answers on the sidewalk. I'd like to have some answers on this rugby field. If, you're, if nobody else can drive on that field. Your five minutes are up. Could you please sum up? I'm done. Thank you. Our next speaker, Madam Clerk. Our next speaker is R.L. Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell. R.L. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, Mr. President. Scott Kincaid. You almost didn't make it, thanks to Mr. Mays over there. But uh, my name is R.L. Mitchell. And uh, before I, if I may, address my, my new appointed councilman, uh, to Madam Clerk, to, to you, to uh, city attorney, before I make sure I won't, because Scotty, he said something to make sure no me racial, racial input on this stuff. Beware. When they talk about racial stuff up in here. I want to ask, uh, if I may, do you, Madam Clerk, to city attorney. Uh, Peter, is it wrong for me to address about the new elected councilman about uh, he making that seat? Because I heard some, uh, he just barely made it by seven votes by a woman of color. Is, it, is that a racial dispute or what? Before I even start talking about it. Do you, can you give me some feedback on that? No. What? What? I gotta pay you to get some answers? Okay. Man, what? It ain't nothing. You shut your head. Come on, give me some, a word for the record. Give me an answer, man. You the man. Come on. Oh, yes no. Okay, from, from the city attorney to the Scott president. Scotty, to you. Is it a, a racial dispute against what about talking about he just barely made in that seat by seven votes by a woman of color? Is that a racial smirk against the maid's fella? Come on, Scotty, come on, give me something. Man, what the fuck? I mean, what? I mean, uh, okay, back to uh, from Scotty to Madam Clerk. Can I continue where I started from? Back over and we the people. Give a man an answer, man. What's wrong with answer? Man? You have to go. Oh, Please, oh, no, man. I'm person the council while he's speaking. Thank you. Yes, and yes, and no <laughs> Madam Clerk, Clerk may I hey. finish where I started off from? Uh, Madam uh, Clerk. Uh, Yo, who said? My council man shaking his head like he one of them puppet thing got him shaking his head. But okay, I'm, okay, just what I want. Man, welcome to uh, the council, man, amazed. And oh, uh, and this, another woman of color, you too. Uh, thank you for putting your vote on Maze. But you know he lost by one point to being in that Scott Kincaid chair. To you, a woman of color. But I'm concerned about I'm gonna say it in the words of James Brown. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be nothing about a woman or a little girl. But this is a man world. And a woman, with well, no, a mom, woman always got the voice of one must speak, but a, as a black man, you can't, you can't live with a, a black woman, you can't live without him. You know, you know like they say, NRA, that's really just a Negro right in the ass. And I feel like we got the 40, Lands and two mules, but don't know what to do with it. Thanks to y'all and all that. And, and welcome to the cup. And, all right, all right. and I don't want to let somebody else have my right, What? Right, thank you. Thank you, Ariel. Our next speaker, Madam Clerk. Our next speaker is uh, Alonzo Goodman. Mr. Goodman. Good evening. My name is Alonzo Goodman. I want to congratulate all the newly elect council people. Uh, I just want to say to all the newly elected council people, I'm proud of y'all for coming in and not playing politics. Your ward voted for you and elected you to represent them, not come down here and play politics. So stand with what you believe in, vote for what you believe in, 
and don't get into that game because there's been a lot of game playing going on all through the years. And that's why the city is in the position that they're in today. Because they're not taking care of the city business. They just playing partnership and this, that, and the other. So come in and represent your ward and represent them real. I feel that Eric May is a very smart person. I've been running around with this guy for 30 years. He's a smart guy. He knows the city charter. And he got the city business at heart. Eric Mays probably has been to more council meetings than any of these council people that's up here. Eric Mays is always involved with everything. So I think he was the man for the seat, for the president's seat, even though he didn't get it. And then even after he didn't get it, he said, hey, we're going to move forward, and he's going to support Scott Kincaid. You know, and that's the way you have to do things. I think Eric Mays is going to make a difference on this council. And I'm very, very happy that he was able to win. He's, one thing I learned from Eric Mays is persistent. He stayed at it, and you got your opportunity, you got your chance, and represent your ward well and do what you know to do. I know that you're a man of integrity. You have good values. I've been running around with you for years. You are an honest guy to a fault. You really are. You are an honest guy to a fault. And this guy is not going to play any games on this seat. Trust me. And when he speak about something, he know what he's talking about. Eric May ain't going to speak about something that he thinks this right. He's going to read it. He's a guy who studies what he needs to know. And I'm asking all the newly elects to get in your books, learn the city charter, and do what you're supposed to do. And Nelly, I want to say to you, congratulations. I'm proud that you went for the person that you felt was the best man for the job and not dance along with that politics and play games. Because it's time out for that. It's time out for playing games down here with the city business. Because people are dying in the city. Our children don't have jobs. Look at all these empty houses. The city is a blight, and you got people down here playing games. Represent the city, take care of the city business, and let's move forward. And congratulations again. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Kincaid. Mr. Mays. I'd like to say thank you for the kind words to one of my best friends, Alonzo Goodman. It's a lot of Goodmans in Flint, Pastor Goodman. I pray for Johnny Goodman and all of the Goodmans. I learned real estate from the Goodmans in Alonzo Goodman probably been around me for 30 years, but he ain't really spoke at council meetings. And so that's correct. I'm going to enforce what he's saying. Anybody who know me will learn it. I'm a straight shooter. I'm going to be honest. I don't like games. And so thank you for the kind words, Alonzo Goodman. And you're right. It's time out. It's about jobs and stopping some of these murders. And we're going to do that with the model that we'll introduce shortly for jobs. But I'm going to make sure and hope that we're going to spend some of that rainy day fund, four million, to get some undercover boys out there to clean up some stuff, particularly in the first ward. I was on the scene during the campaign of three to four murders, two on Ruth, one on Flint Park and Aubrey. And families were saying councilman, and I wasn't a councilman yet, and they were respectful, and people were crying, and I was nervous. So it's real, and I can assure you that four million might not sit there alone in a rainy day fund, because if it relates to murders and police protection, it's a storm now. And I might go to jail to loose that money to save some people's lives. God bless you. Thanks, Ronnie. <laughs> Our next speaker, Madam Clerk. Our next speaker is Zaragoza Maldonado. Very good job, Madam Speaker. <laughs> Not a lot of people get that right. Uh, congratulations to the new city council. I'm sure you guys have your hands full. Um, I work in the city of Flint. Uh, my name is Zaragoza Maldonado. I'm the president of NABIT CWA Local 48, home based out of Saginaw, uh, the union at WNEM TV5. We have a 
satellite station at 555 South Saginaw. It's kind of hard to follow up a lot of those great speeches, but I come in the same sense of asking the city council to boycott WNEM TV5. They're supposed to provide a public service to the city of Flint as far as giving them the news, but they are not negotiating fairly with their labor, with their labor union. We've been in contract negotiations for over 18 months. They want on-air employees to be at will. They want to be able to fire them for any reason. They want them to be afraid for their jobs. They don't want to give us job jurisdiction. I know you have a lot on your plates, but I come to you tonight and ask you for your support um, for our union. Um, Sheldon Neely has expressed support uh, for obvious reasons. I ask that you boycott TV5 and don't talk to them. Use the other media outlets to get your information out until they negotiate fairly and negotiate a fair contract with their employees. They don't want to treat us right. They're a multi-billion dollar corporation that is not serving the public of Flint, which I think they should. They don't want to give fair jobs and pay fair wages. So I ask you to boycott them until they reach a fair contract. Um, if they call you to talk to them, say, until you fix your problems, we have our own problems to deal with. So, and for all the people here tonight, please call them and turn off TV5 and ask them to, to support their labor union. <laughs> I can give it to you when I'm done, but, but call them. It's in the book. Uh, turn off WNEM TV5 Facebook. Uh, please support our union. Thank you, Council. Thank you very much. Our next speaker, Madam Clerk. Our next speaker is Millie Francis Powell Nash. Mrs. Nash. Good evening. Good evening. To God be the glory. I want to say to this council, stand firm. I thank God for you. I thank God that I am an American citizen. I thank God that today, maybe my youngest son is on his way to career, but I thank God for Veterans Day. I thank God for all the veterans. My great, great, great grandmother was given as a slave when she was 16, taken from Carolinas to Alabama. She never saw the rest of her family again. But I'm thankful that my grandfather was General Jackson Stewart, who graduated from Tuskegee Institute under Dr. Booker T. Washington. I also want to say to Eric, to God be the glory. Amen. Eric and my son, Dr. Gary Powell Nash, were colleagues at, the, at uh, Michigan State. Amen. And Dr. Gary Powell Nash is a professor of music at Fisk University. And I want to thank Mrs. Brown, because she was the president of the B&Ps. And uh, I want to thank all of you. I want to thank the audience. Let's give God the glory. Amen. Thank God for America. I thank God for America. My nephew over here today, stand up. He is my guard. Last Thursday, I live at 1909 McPhail Street. I have resided there since 1955. I am a unionist. I am a Amen. member of 651. And uh, I want to say that the reason I brought Henry is last Thursday, we were on McPhail Street going out to Lippincott. And this fella came and tried to get into my car.